I had this blank wall over the TV and a bunch of cedar offcuts. So I made this. But it didn't turn out the way I intended in the first place. I couldn't help but notice how flexible the cedar was. So I thought I could make this sort of bendy art thing. So I had about 50 of these narrow strips. And my original plan was to use these little blocks in three different sizes. And I would glue those blocks in between the strips. And the different sizes would make it bend and create this sort of interesting shape, I hoped. But I had all sorts of problems with these little blocks. Ultimately, the biggest problem was that it just didn't look right. If the focus is supposed to be on these bent strips, then the thing that's holding them that, that way should either disappear or should be a feature in its own right. And with the blocks, I didn't do either one of those. They were just kind of there. What was happening is I was trying to glue these blocks in there. Is Every time I would take the clamps off, the whole thing would flex back to the shape it wanted to be in. And then I put the clamps back on it would flex again and it would keep flexing all these little glue joints and they would just start breaking. Eventually I figured out that I could attach some little strips to a pair of clamps and use those to hold it in place while I took the other clamps off and that prevented it from being able to move. So I got about halfway through, maybe two thirds of the way through, and I looked at it and I I knew I wasn't happy with it, though I liked the effect that the strips were giving. So it was time to go to plan B, and that was to create a rail instead of these blocks and cut little dados where the strips were going to go. The temptation would be to make the rail a long skinny piece with the grain running in the direction of the length of the rail. But when you cut those dados in it, those little tabs are going to be fragile. So I did it the hard way and had the grain running in the short direction. I also thought it would be interesting if the surface of those strips was sort of undulating. So I put a curve on those rails. My curve was about a half inch deep and the effect is pretty subtle. So if I was doing it over again, I would probably double that. I also rounded over that front edge to make it a little softer. Um, I used all the tools at my disposal to make these rails. Um, you don't really see them that much, so it isn't really necessary to do all that, but I could, so I did. So I've laid out a piece of paper and drawn lines where these will be. And I transferred over the marks. If you're going to do this, then you're starting from a blank piece of paper. So what I suggest you do is Try to mark every fifth line first, and then once you have something that you're happy with, then you can go back and fill in. And I, if I look at an area where I spaced them out a lot, that's about three and a quarter or eighty millimeters. And an area where I was grouping them tight, that's about two inches, or 50 millimeters. So I try to keep within that range. So at this end, I want it to come out more. So I'm going to use three and a quarter for my next. And this one, I'm going to use three. Here I'll use two and seven eighths. Four left, so I'm gonna have to go two. Then I'll come in and I'm just eyeballing, breaking this into four, five, four lines. And I scribed the depth of the dados. And then cutting the dados, 
I used a combination of a full kerf and a thin kerf blade, and that gave me just the right thickness. The dado set would have been a little too wide. Cutting all these dados, you're going to end up with your face right on top of it, trying to see what you're doing. And I have gotten things in my eye from the table saw before, and it's not fun. So I didn't mess around, and I wore the full face shield while I was doing that. I made some pieces to go in between the rails to hold them in alignment. And these were just pocket screwed into the rails. Sometimes in the course of doing a project, you start to see it in a different way than you originally thought of it. And I spent so much time with this thing laying on the table, I started to see it as a table. So to satisfy my curiosity, I went in SketchUp, and those rails, it was easy to, to just extend those down and make legs for a table. But then the middle rails were just sort of hanging there, so I thought I could make an arch, and that would give those rails something to connect to. Then I just messed around for a little while trying to make it look a little better. I didn't spend a whole lot of time on this. Um, I came up with something, I don't know, it looks interesting. I don't have any intention of building it, but it'll float off into the back of my mind, and... Maybe it will resurface in some way in the future. I thought showing a little bit of the design process might be interesting to someone. So, there you go. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.